Oh, there it goes. Just about to give it a little blow blow. That's what it's all about. That's bad. That's real bad. What's going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. All right, this one is gonna be bloody fun and I am super pumped about it. So this, this is our bedroom for the night. You and me, we're doing a solo camping mission on the tinny. We got no swags, we got no bedding, we got none of that comfort stuff. It's just literally, we're just gonna be sleeping on the floor, possible sand fly, mosquito invasion, who knows, we're about to find out when that sun sets. But the sun has just popped its head up a couple of hours ago. We're out here in the tinny and, um, from now on in, we've got no food, little bit of water, a couple of beers in the esky. This is just gonna be one of those good old bloody camping trips, except we don't have any food. There isn't even a crumb of bread on this boat. So what I wanna do is, or what I wanna try to do is, we're gonna make a seafood basket. Try to get crabs, try to get squid, try to get fish, catch as much beautiful eating seafood as we can, punch it on the beach, start a fire, cook it up. It's just gonna be a bloody good time. So we've got crab pots here, Little bit of bait in that esky there, a couple of fishing rods, and that is all we have. Oh, we've got the bow and arrow, and we've got a spear gun. So we've got all the talk, we've got all the gear, we've got no idea. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna go and have a hell of a time. Stay tuned. First thing we're doing is we're going to get crabs. Well, I can tell you something for free. We are not alone out here. The sand flies are next level. I'm talking that there's like a, a like a bloody cloud of sand flies around my head right now. So they're gonna be itchy. It's gonna be an itchy night. But this looks like incredible mud crab country. Never been here before. It looks incredible. The whole entire floor is just covered in baby little oysters. And then as you come up here, it's really good looking mud crab ground. Surely there's gonna be a couple of muddies floating around in here. Looks really good. The only problem is right now, we don't have a lot of time before this is gonna be completely filled with water and the mud crabbing is gonna be out of the window. So we've got to make, our, make this time as useful as possible. We're gonna really start hunting, looking for holes, looking under these rocks that big mama crab because we've only got a little bit of time and we're gonna be swimming back to the boat. So let's go, let's start getting into the full jungle mode. We're gonna find ourselves a big filthy crab. That is what we're looking for. Have a look at this. You can see all of this freshly dug up sand. It doesn't match anything else in the area. It's all been dug up. And then you look over here, there's a big hole right there. Let's have a dig. Hopefully we'll get some big mummer out of that. Look at it. How is there no one home? That's an empty hole. so strange it's like this is probably the seventh hole and you can see how big this hole is that is a big crab hole you can see that a crab's been here because all of the shell and debris has been kicked up out of the hole nothing else will do that but they're just all empty probably the, this is probably the good fifth sixth seventh hole i've come up to and they're bone dry then they're, they're not very deep either 
So that's at the back of the hole. And it's only probably 600 mil deep, which is strange. Maybe the crabs are down the creek. It's very, very weird, but we are getting pushed in by this tide. So we'll make our way back to the boat. You can see that's where I was walking way out there before that tide's pushing in. The tin is probably way up on the mangroves already, but I'm not giving up. We'll keep going. We'll find a crab. All right, we are 100% on here right now. Look at this. That is a hermit crab living in a massive shell, but that's not what I want to show you. What I want to show you is out here. Look at this. There's a massive stingray, not a massive stingray, but there's a little blue spot stingray. Don't know if you can see him right there. And then just in the water, as that tide's pushing up, that crab's come out of his hole. Now there's a crab there. The only problem I have here, it's gonna be a massive problem is that he's out of his hole. Oh, let's go now. Go now, go now. Oh. What's going on? He's got no claws. Have a go at that for a win. Look at this. G'day, mate. What's happened? This poor fella's had a hard life. That's a big crab. That's a real big crab. He's got three legs. Oh, look where he's living. This is the mud crab mecca. There are holes everywhere. I probably got here on the wrong tide, but look at that. That's a big boy. Have a go at this. Look at that. That, is, that would have been a decent sized mud crab. You can see that is, look, I don't know what's happened to this fella. He's obviously been in an absolute war with a monster crab. He's lost both of his claws. He's lost one, two, three, four, five of his legs. So I don't know if this fella is gonna lie, live, but look at the size of that shell. It's as big as my hand. That's a big crab. Poor little fella. Don't know his chances of living, but I don't feel right eating this crab. There's obviously gonna be a lot of meat up here in the back here. All his legs full of meat, but I'm not gonna keep him. Just I don't feel right keeping that. Easy catch, but we'll let him go. I don't even know what his odds of survival are gonna be, to be honest. He's got no claws to eat. Anyway, let's put him back. Hopefully he'll survive, grow his claws back, become a big strong man again. Beautiful crab, let's let him go. See ya, mate. Hopefully he lives, eh? Three legs. Hard life. Look at this, off he goes into that hole. That's what we're looking for, crab sitting like that. So that tide has really kicked itself in the guts right now. It is pumping in and we're really quickly losing the ground where we want to be getting the mud crabs. It's just rushing in this water. So what I think we're going to do is, or what I'm going to do is, no, what we're going to do is, you're with me, we're going to um, jump in the tinny which is probably right up against those mangroves, smashing on those oysters. And um, we're gonna go and try to catch these crabs in a different method. I'm not leaving here without a crab. So we'll um, change to method B or plan B. See if we can get one that way because these mud crab holes are all starting to fill up with water and it's um, not as easy. Oh, look at the tide. It's absolutely gushing in. This is good. This is good, let's go in the tinny, try plan B. We can even flick a few lures around as well. Sort of find my way out of this maze. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go and try plan B. Oh, All right, let's go and try plan B. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that smells like shit. <laughs> All right, so this is plan B. We've got a handful of crab nets. We've got a bucket that, <laughs> oh, this smells so bad. But in there is a couple of fish frames from one of our last spear fishing trips. So we've got, oh, you should smell this, a couple of big coral trout heads, a couple of other fish frames in there that absolutely bloody stinks. But it should be the little, 
five star meal for these crabs. So this is what we're gonna do now. Drift along the edge of this bloody mangrove system up here. We're gonna drop these nets all the way along these mangroves and hopefully we can just pick up one crab. One crab is all we need. We found one, he only had three legs. Poor little bastard, he had a hard life. That's what we're gonna do. Drop the pots along all the way down. We can go, we can go as far as we bloody want, mate. This is freedom. So we're just gonna do that, drop the pots, come back, pick them up, see if we can get a crab in a pot. We've still got a lot of other things to put on the menu today. Bombs away. All right, this has got to be the lucky pot. This is the big, dirty coral trout head. Let's go, baby. Oh, Ooh. later. Just like that, we've got five pots set and ready to go. So hopefully we can get a big, dirty crab in one of those pots. So this is our bedroom for the night. <laughs> this is where we're going to be sleeping. We've got no camping gear. We've got no sleeping gear. We've got the very, very basics of cooking gear. And um, that's pretty much all we have. We've got no food, a couple of beers in the esky, block of ice in the esky to keep the fish, crabs, whatever we catch fresh. And that's pretty much all we've got. So what we're doing right now is letting them mud crab, letting them pots soak. And um, we're just cruising around exploring this epic little mangrove system. Looks like up here, there's a little bit of an inlet of a creek. So this probably would have been the zone to drop the pots, to be honest. We'll have a look. We'll go for a little bit of an explore. But this is us for the next 24 hours. We'll anchor up out at sea, or we'll anchor up inside this creek here somewhere, sleep the night right there on the floor, <laughs> and um, hopefully we don't get smashed by sandflies and mosquitoes too bad, but that's part of living, and I love it. Look at this, man. This is where I should have put the mud crab pots. This is absolutely beautiful in here. 1.2 meters deep. You're trying to tell me there ain't no mud crabs in here? This is the mud crab mecca. Look at it. This is what it's all about. The home of the mud crab. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Big mud crab, let's go. Empty. Right, I'm gonna change location. It's not heavy. Not good. It's too light, there's nothing in it. You're kidding, aren't ya? All right, let's go. We're going back to that amazing creek. That was horrible. Look at the sand flies. This is mud crab country for days. Look at it, it's beautiful. Oh, straight into it. Ah. That'll do. I just want to grab this stick and just stuck it, stick it in the mud like that, just so I know that the boat is in line with that stick because we're going to go on a big mission. And as you can see, <laughs> it's very bloody easy to get lost. So we know the boat is in line with that stick. Let's go. Let's go see if we can catch a crab, shoot a mullet, something like that.
that is the... Oh, what? That was extremely close. Oh, a little bit too high. You mongrel. All right, this is a bloody hard shot. But that's a sand whiting right there. Oh, <laughs> we nearly hit a sand whiting. If you're shooting sand whiting, you're a bloody good shot. Oh, as if that didn't get, oh, I did get it, did I? No, the ground's just bubbling. That was really close. But, there's still no food. Well, I've been walking around for quite a while. And the problem is that the mangroves are just so dense. They're just so thick. There's not even like a little keyhole where I can take a shot at a fish. There's just, it's just, this is like proper rugged outback Australia right now. There is not one footprint, footprint from a human. Like there's not even kangaroo tracks, cow tracks, nothing. There's like, I'm the only person with footprints in this whole area. It's pretty sick. But at the same time, it is super dense, dense. So hopefully once that tide sort of comes into a neat stage, those pots will activate, we'll get a crab in the pot, but right now, no crabs, no fish. We're not gonna give up, we'll keep going, but it's taken a lot longer than I thought to get a crab, so maybe we're just gonna spend the whole day getting crabs. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, but um, be good to go put a few arrows through a few big mullet, put them on the fire, that'll be sick. We'll keep trying. Oh, I hit it. That was the perfect mullet. And it just did a little jump, hit it on the side and it took off. I must have just clipped it. That was dinner. We're definitely in here. That's dinner. It's just sitting. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I'm missing these fish by literally, I'm missing these fish by like three mil, two mil. That was a big sand whiting sitting here in the shallows. Oh. You mongrel. You'd want to bloody hope those pots have got a crab in them because I tell you what, if they don't, we're going hungry tonight. A couple of cold tins in the esky, they're gonna go down a treat. But I have been walking around for a bloody long time and these fish are super spookish. Like you, you make one step, you, one little bubble comes out of the mud, boom, they're gone. And um, they're not big either. I haven't seen any big mullet, haven't seen any, anything really big. So I'm just gonna keep walking, keep persisting, but this tide should just about be at its peak now. So I've gotta get back to the tinny before the tide goes out or we're gonna be high and dry in the mangrove system until the next turn, uh, tide turn. So. A little bit further up here, and then we've got a big steam back to the tinny, but no mud crabs, no mud crab really holes. I've been poking around and um, a few shots at fish, but unsuccessful so far. We will get one. Let's go. We ain't going hungry. There is very, very little fish, and if when you see them, I'm just missing them by one, two mil. It's incredible. But the problem that I'm having now is the landscape's changing. This is all rock. There's these epic little rock pools everywhere. And I'm just using a standard arrow. I like to do this because it's a lot more fun. But if this arrow hits the rocks, or if any arrow hits these rocks, it's dead. So I've got to make up my mind. I've only got one arrow, and we're about 40 minutes away from the boat. So smart shooting, or um, we're going to be done with this arrow. It's epic. Look at it, though. It's got to be a big mullet just floating somewhere in here. All right, this is um, gonna turn into a real life survival situation. That was really, really hard. Didn't see any any fish, like I was shooting at sand whiting, probably that big, probably wouldn't even fill me up. A couple of mullet, super spookish. As soon as you see them, boom, they're gone. So new place, new rules of fishing, I suppose, but it's completely different to the last, last place I tried. So what we're going to do is now go check these crab pots. Fingers crossed we've got the big bertha crab in one of those pots. And I hope that I don't regret letting old, old mate three-legged Jackson go because that could have been the um, three-legged mud crab. Damn it. Anyway, let's go and check these pots 
and then we'll um we'll just have to make a plan from there there's mullet swimming right at the back of the boat right now maybe i should have a shot from the boat let's try all right we've really got to go that tide is starting to push back out and we're going to get stuck in this creek and there's no way i'm sleeping here there are so many sand flies we have got to go pick up all of the nets, drive up the creek, drive back. I just had a crack. I just had a shot at the uh, mullet, but I didn't have a shot. I just stood here. So many of them down here. They're so smart, man. You stand here, you can see them swimming all around, but as soon as you pull the bow back, boom, they're gone straight out into that deep water. You can see these leaves. They're now going from the left to the right of your screen, which means that water's pushing back out to sea. This is going to be bone dry in probably about 40 minutes. That creek's probably going to be undrivable, so we need to get my ass into gear, pick up them pots. I have got absolutely no idea what we're going to do if we don't get a crab in one of these pots. We're going to have to go out fishing wide. It's super windy out in the ocean by the seams of it in here. It's windy in the mangroves, which means it'll be windy out there. I don't know what we're going to do. Sit around the fire, drink tins all night. <laughs> no, we've got to get something, man. It can't be this hard, eh? This is going to literally turn into a survival challenge. Oh no. Oh no, not good. You're joking. Nothing but a clump of seaweed. No way. No crabs in any pot. That's bad. That's real bad. shoot a fish because um this is just hectic no crap i spent the whole day crabbing so let's um let's see if we can find ourselves a fish on the gun hopefully fingers crossed we get a fish that's all we need to do is cook a fish around the fire all right let's go this is plan plan bloody what is it we've done a b c this is plan d jesus christ wet is on let's go let's go see if we can plug a fish off this little bobby here i've got about now i've got about i don't know that's that over there is probably about 15 to 20 minutes of sunlight left so if there's no fish on this rock we're done and dusted we're just going to starve tonight but i'm going to get in right now let's have a look
not good. That's what I'm talking about. We got food, we got dinner. Check this out. Now have a look at that for an absolute specimen. Beautiful little coral trout. It's a beautiful eating size. It's not a monster, but it is a beautiful eating size coral trout. Lovely little fish. I was just about to shoot a Spanish flag. I was like looking at them flag. I'm like, oh, there's gotta be something better on this bommy. And then this fella popped his head out. He had a look and he went straight back in his hole. So we'll play him cat and mouse for about, I don't know, seven to 10 minutes. And he finally come out, curious little fish. And then whack, we got him straight in the head, put him to sleep, boom. There's dinner. All right, let's go and start a fire. Cook this fella up. I'm starving, and we've got one of the best eating fish in the sea in my hands right now. Woohoo! How good, baby! That's what it's all about. There we go. Cheers to that, doggies. We finally got a little bit of food for the fire tonight, and it took just about the whole entire day. <laughs> That's where spearfishing just seriously comes into its own because you can be selective. It's pretty easy and um, yeah, it's just spearfishing so much easier. But look, I'm gonna change the plans a little bit. There is a stiff, disgustingly strong southwest uh, southerly wind right now. I'm getting sprayed with water. And um, I'm not gonna be sleeping on the boat. My car's probably about three or four k's down there on the beach. So I'm gonna rip the tinny out of the water and we'll, um, we'll start a fire up around the car and we'll have a good old feed. Still camping, but it's not gonna be sleeping in the tinny. I don't trust my shitty little $20 anchor in this strong wind overnight. I'll probably end up in China. So see you guys when I'm ripping the boat up. It's gonna be dark, but it is what it is. We've got a fish for dinner and that was the main game. Woo! Yeah! I love this shit, eh? That good. Let's go. It's a little bit body cold right now, but we made it back to dry land just before dark. It's literally, the sun is literally setting. So I'm gonna go get the troopy, rip the boat out of the water. We'll go start a fire, roll out the swag and have a hell of a night. <laughs> Come on you big rig, get up there. Us, 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 us. Well, I'll tell you what, it is well and truly dark right now. That sun has completely gone a long, long bloody time ago. And I've just found a beautiful little camp spot away from the wind, kind of tucked away from the wind. It's blowing a gale up there, but this is pretty nice. Just, just kick the fire in the guts. Got to go fill it, I'm not going to fill it the fish. Got to go gut the fish, scale the fish, and then we are going to have dinner. I am that hungry, you wouldn't even understand. But um, I'll show you guys where we're sleeping tonight. It is pretty bloody epic. Welcome home. <laughs> this is where we'll be sleeping tonight. Pretty magical little place. Ocean is just there. Nice little fire going. Collected a couple of sticks. Probably need a couple more. Here's the tinny. Here's the wall that's given us shelter. All right, that's it. I'm going to start cleaning this fish. Bang it on there. I am absolutely starving. Let's go. What a way to spend the afternoon, mate. All right, so first off, we've got cold beer. In here we have, I've just made a little grass. What do you call that, a basting stick or something? And then in here, we've got a little bit of olive oil, a couple of herbs, a couple of flavors in there. That's gonna sit over there. We'll use that in a second. And here is the beautiful fish we got today. So what I've done, I've scaled it. I've cut slices in one side, slices in the other. And that is gonna sit right there on that beautiful, cooking coals that we've made. So that's just gonna sit there and um, it shouldn't take too long. We've got a nice little fire in the corner. Perfect cooking coals here. And that is going to be incredible. So what we're gonna do is get a little baster, get a little dirt, 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 and then it's gonna give it a dance. We're just gonna keep doing this the whole night until it's cooked. So we'll do that, flip him up, just continue that process all night until it's done. Slow cooked, it's gonna taste absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, look at this mate. 
this I'm gonna say it every time I do say it every time but you just can't beat this it's actually the best thing ever so we were originally supposed to be sleeping in the tinny out in the ocean I know change plans massively but hey it's a pretty good bloody change of plans I was after we went spearfishing and got that fish I was soaking wet my only shirt was wet the carpet in the boat was wet and I was like man that's gonna be one haggard night so we've definitely made an upgrade that's for sure and um, look this fish is smelling incredibly good have a look at it it is looking bloody beautiful that's actually something about cooking on a fire you just cannot nothing beats it slow cooked cold trout over the fire mate how bloody beautiful does that look it smells it smells and looks incredible the taste is going to be epic when you do that oil there's a moth going psycho on the ground there but have a look at that one side you get this beautiful white fleshy meat and then on the back side you get a crispy skin coral trout has a beautiful skin it, tur it turns extremely crispy if you keep it on the fish but here we go, look at that. Pure meat. Oh. That is incredibly good. That's really bloody good. That's the first thing I've eaten all day. Wow. Mmm. It's got to be up there with one of my favourite fish in the sea. Look at that skin. Crispy skin. Delicious. Alright. That's it from me. I'm going to sit here and smash this whole entire fish. Probably have another beer. I've got no idea what we're doing in the morning. But anyway. season in the morning for coffee time. I'm going to turn the tunes on. Sit back. Crank the fire up. And do what I do best. Much love, doggies, and I'll see you in the morning. Oh, see that moth? Literally just flew into my head. Oh, it's hot. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. That moth was so stupid. I was just watching that moth then, flying around, landed on my head, flying around, and just walked and walked and walked into the fire. Why? Oh yeah. Best way to wake up. Look at this. Have a go. Good morning. You know what time it is. Yeah! Alright, I've just chucked a couple of little baby sticks on that fire. There is no need for a lighter or any kind of tinder. That's going to take off pretty much instantly. That's still going to be boiling hot underneath from last night. So um, I'm going to get the coffee stuff ready. We're going to make a coffee and um, what are we going to do today? The world is our oyster. We can do whatever we want. Look at it. Ha! How bloody good. Alright, 
it needs a little bit of a, oh, there it goes. I was just about to give it a little blow blow and it went up. Absolutely bloody beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Coffee time. Oh yes, it's ready. Yes, it is. Have a look at that. Where's that gonna go? I can go there for a sec. There ain't nothing like coffee time. All right, I know what we're doing today. What we're doing today is the same as what we did yesterday. <laughs> we're going mud crabbing again. All I want to do is just eat a massive mud crab claw around the fire. That is the goal and that's what we're doing. So as soon as you have a coffee, it just clicks something in your brain and it starts, starts making you think smart. So that's what we're doing. We're going mud crabbing again today. Same, same location, same bloody place, just a different time. I'm going to get there a little bit earlier so we can use that low tide to its absolute maximum. So. I'll take you guys on that adventure, but it's gonna be in another video because this video is probably dragging on a little bit right now. So, thank you so much for watching. Always, as always, doggies, thank you for the support. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Ow!